Today I'm going to show you how to make Uncle Joe's eggnog. This is a family recipe which my father stole from, ironically, Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe passed away a couple of weeks ago. So this is going to be the first year that I make this knowing that Uncle Joe is not back in New York potentially enjoying his own creation. So if you do make this eggnog and you're celebrating with family and friends, I ask you one favor. Raise a glass to Uncle Joe. Okay, ingredients. Number one, eggs. Shocking, I know. You need half a dozen eggs. For those of you who are baking disinclined, that's six. Next, we're going to have a half a gallon of milk. We're using skim milk because healthy. Next, you're going to need a pint of heavy cream because healthy. <laughs> After that, you're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You're also going to need about a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Next, you're going to need about a half a cup of sugar. Any type of sugar will do. Granulated works just fine. That's the end of the stuff if you don't want to add the booze. As far as booze is concerned, you're going to use a cup of rum. I choose Bacardi Gold because you don't want the flavor of your alcohol to overpower the flavor of the eggnog itself. And believe me, when you try this, it's all said and done, you really can't taste the booze. It's almost terrifying. It's, it's quite dangerous, to be honest. Anyway, I use Bacardi Gold. Uh, I find it to be smooth, mellow. It's relatively inexpensive. A fifth here costs in Utah about 13 bucks. Uh, and again, you can find it in just about any liquor store including Utah. So one cup of rum. You're also going to need a cup of whiskey or brandy, depending upon your budget. So um, I use Jameson Irish whiskey for this recipe. I'm not going to use any of my single malt scotch whiskeys because uh, I want to taste the eggnog. I don't want to ruin my expensive scotch. So, you know, if you're just casually cooking and you accidentally spill a little bit of your whiskey into a glass and then it finally accidentally falls into your gullet, you know, mm. It's a beautiful thing. Let's get going, shall we? Maybe a little more. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate our eggs. And my suggestion is you put the yolks in your biggest mixing bowl because you're basically going to do the most treatments to the yolks. Um, and in the end, you're going to combine everything with the yolks. So my suggestion is, since this is going to be the most voluminous section of the recipe, that's where you should start and put the yolks. Uh, to be honest, when you put the whites in a smaller mixing bowl, all you're going to do is add a little bit of sugar to it and then beat it until it's partially stiff and then add that over. So uh, let's get going with separating the eggs. And I got a little trick that I'm going to try today about separating eggs because I don't like to do that whole little game uh, where you go back and forth and go back and forth. Although that yolk's already broken, that's great. Alright, we've got our eggs in there and we're going to try a little trick to separate them. Um, you grab basically your standard plastic water bottle, empty it out, uh, make sure you're hydrated for this recipe, and you actually just squeeze it in the egg yolk itself and then try and suck the egg in. Whoop! Woohoo! Look at that! It pours right out. And then you just squeeze it out like that. Isn't that cool? Squeeze, and in you go. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, so that worked out pretty well. As you can see, I've got the majority of the yolk and, and white separated. And uh, if you've kind of strayed, one of them ruptured on me. Uh, it's not the end of the world. This isn't rocket science, so don't worry about it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to beat the yolks, add vanilla, nutmeg, and a quarter cup of sugar to the yolks. So first thing we do, we take and we're going to beat our yolks. We're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to take our vanilla. We're going to add our vanilla and the nutmeg to the yolks as well. So two teaspoons of vanilla. And again, you know, if you go overboard, <laughs> who cares? It's all good fun. And that was the hard part, about, about a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I've got one of those shakers that just hates me, so. 
There you go. Goes out of the way, and we all mix that together. Right after you've done that, you're going to add the milk to the yolks. So get your half gallon, nice and healthy. You're also going to add your cream. Now one of the things you're doing, you're going to beat this until it's partially stiff. You're going to add another about eighth of a cup of sugar. That's about right. Add that. We're going to beat this until it's partially stiff. Alright, now I have most of that mixed, so what you're going to do is you're going to beat the whites until they're stiff. And once they're stiff, add the rest of the sugar. It should be about an eighth of a cup left. So we're going to beat the whites until they're stiff. You want to get it to a, basically a meringue, um, so it kind of gives some body to the eggnog itself. Alright, we'll add, we'll add the sugar to that. Mix that in. All right, you have that done. You add that to the whites, your brew, as it were. You're going to mix that in, and to all of it as well, you're going to add your booze. So we got our cup of whiskey. Cup of whiskey. Some for me. Now we get our rum, add a cup of rum, we add that. Now we mix it all up and we're going to pour it into whatever containers we're going to pass it around in. Alright, we're done mixing, we're going to just put it in, I hope you guys did not throw away your half gallon container. You got about three quarters of a gallon in this recipe. So you're going to separate it out. You can see there's a little bit of froth on top. Uh, that'll settle down. Um, I have another half gallon as well in the fridge. Uh, so separate it out, chill it down, serve it to your friends, and consume until relatives are tolerable. Well, that's pretty much it. As you can see, I've got two half gallons, which are about three quarters full. Uh, on this one, these are gonna. This is today's batch. This is what we've got left over from yesterday's batch. These are gonna be gifts for people. Uh, one of the things they haven't chilled down yet. One of the things you'll notice is all the nutmeg seems to go to the bottom on this. So my suggestion is, just you can see ours is really bad. So because it's been sitting for a day. So just shake it up a little bit before you actually serve it, so you can get that nutmeg all throughout. You know, pour yourself a glass. to Uncle Joe. Salud.